up YouTube, Liam Griffin here with Scale Adventure Studios and we are on the Project Wraith build. Got a great video for you guys today. This is part two in the series. Um, gonna be quenching my thirst a little bit in a Tootsie, Paul, uh, Tootsie Pop cup. Who has one of those? That's pretty cool. Anyway, got a new motor. Uh, we're gonna be running a brush setup. This is just a basic Saturn 35 turn uh, brush motor. We're gonna do the Axial ESC. Just a simple setup for now. Um, gonna be going brushless in the future, but for now I'm gonna show you guys in today's video how to break in a brush motor. Um, how I like to break in. There's a lot of different ways. You can search it to find the different ones, but I'm gonna be showing you guys obviously the water method. Um, so let's dig in. I'll show you a few of the things you gotta have. Brand new motor. Uh, the way There's a couple different ways to do it. The way I'm gonna do it, we're gonna use just a basic brushed controller, speed controller, and your receiver. You're gonna need your radio and a battery pack. Okay, we got everything set up. Uh, we've got our new motor set aside. What we're gonna do is go ahead and connect it to the speed controller. Use your motor cables here. And mine are pretty well insulated and they're also pretty tight, so I'm not gonna have to worry about them coming apart. But you do, if, if they're not very tight, you wanna use some electrical tape to wrap around these and hold them together because you're gonna be hanging the motor off into the water from the wires. So you definitely don't want that slipping off, uh, coming disconnected in the water. We're gonna go ahead and hook the ESC to the throttle channel of your receiver and make sure your receiver is turned on here. We'll go ahead and pop it on and connect the battery to it. So we'll go ahead and pop that together. Now my speed controller is turned off. So now what we're gonna do is turn the speed controller on should go through a little initial startup. It's kind of awkward beat, but anyway. Uh, once it goes through a startup, we're going to test it just to make sure. Okay, so it is spinning. Now what I like to do, so you don't have to sit here and hold the controller, you only do it for about 30 seconds, but I'll set my throttle trim on my radio. And you can see when I adjust my throttle trim, it'll spin without me even um, holding the trigger. So we'll go ahead and take our motor and we'll get it spinning. And that's important here, you don't want to let the battery or any of the other wires, aside from the two motor wires, dangle into the water. Um, you can really electrocute yourself. Um, it's weird enough that we're sticking something electric into a container full of water anyway. But that's part of it, so just be real careful with that. So we'll go ahead and get the motor spinning. And I'm going to vary the speeds a little bit, but I think this is good for now. We'll dip it in the water. As you can see, it's spinning nice. Gonna let it spin probably about 30 seconds. We'll slow it down a little bit. Speed it up just a little bit. A little bit more. And what this is going to do, as it's spinning, the water acts as a buffer. It's kind of like wet sanding. So the brushes, when this motor is made, are not evenly in contact with the surface. And that's going to cause it to work ineffectively. So what you're doing, you're basically sanding down the surfaces of the brush where they come in contact. And giving it more of an even surface, which will translate to more efficient power delivery. Because it will be able to transfer through all of the brushes of the motor. We'll let that dry off just a little bit and we'll go ahead and first things first turn off our speed controller and disconnect our battery here and now let your motor dry a good bit and you're good to go your motor is broken in and it should give you about 20 percent on average more power and it'll make your uh, the life of your motor last a lot longer it'll really overall just help your brush motor to be more reliable and consistent so there you go how to break in through the water method your brushed motor for your RC car.